so far. I don't see why I should stop now. <laughs> <laughs> and right on, right on. And uh, may we continue to see the amazement in every day. I, I think that one of the things about a, a new year is that uh, it opens us up to the possibilities of the unknown and the infinite, the possibilities of of greater potential revealing themselves through us and around us. And I think one of the things that happens in our modern society is there's a tendency to put a lot of effort and strategies in remaining comfortable. And I think in remaining comfortable, we in some ways, we, we disconnect from the natural rhythms and insulate ourselves from all the great raw experiences. And so I'm hoping as we can go into this new year we can really embrace the unknown from a place of joy and optimism and happiness and exploration and with an adventurous spirit. You know, as we, as we look back on this past year, so many things reveal themselves to us that were unplanned, that we would have never expected. And I think a lot of it depends on how we hold it. If we can remain really open and free and see things from our inner state of being, that it can be an amazing journey. And so, thanks Mark, it was a great, great thought this morning. And, you know, if you feel like your experiences haven't been amazing so far, well, this is a good time to start. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot of energy around us now, right? Uh, amazing things happening, and uh, there's a lot of potential to tap into. The universe is constantly pregnant with energy to, to offer its gifts to us. And so much of it depends on our inner state and the resonance of our own vibration that we're offering to the great cosmic field. Is that vibration remains joyful and happy and free. It's amazing what shows up. Amazing. I just got back from being in Belgium and Turkey and I had the experience of being in Konya which is the memorial site for Rumi. Go so there each day to hang out and just be in the courtyard. And just in that state of just letting down everything, the way that we can enter into our day from a timeless dimension. That we can enter our day unburdened, rather than entering our day feeling overwhelmed by obligation and responsibility. How about if we enter this year from a place of incredible joy and happiness and exploration and discovery? You know, every day, every day. Welcome our amazing brother, Samat, and Pablo today. Brother, Brother Namsen, harmonium, the voice, the guitar, and the chanting. Our dear sister, Thank you so much for being here today. She was up in, at Capablo last night, so around about three or four in the morning, chanting. <laughs> so. All right, everyone, well, let's tune in. And, you know, the Adi Mantra is in many ways like a divining tool. It allows us to discover that part of ourselves that is always in that evolutionary state, in that state of moving toward the oneness. And there's a part of ourselves that is always moving in that direction no matter what's happening, no matter what's happening in our minds or our bodies or whatever, there's a part of ourselves that's evolutionary and awakening and always in oneness. And so through the chanting, we allow ourselves to be in touch with that and allow that force to blossom, really allow it to come forth in our lives and to express itself and to allow that wave to catch us and we allow ourselves to receive the breath and we see the sound and the vibration to ride that. And 
to allow the Guru, that divine wisdom, that light within us, to be our guiding compass. You know, this, this connection that's so important. When we have that absolute connection of oneness, then our identity changes. It's oftentimes difficult to change our experience if our identity isn't really shifted. And the question really is, our identity large enough to experience the frontier that's before us? Is our identity large enough to experience the horizons that are here for us to, to embrace? And the universe is constantly offering its, its gifts, constantly. And so as we chant and as we open ourselves, we're allowing this force of life and consciousness to come through. I mean, this is an age of consciousness we're moving into. We're moving out of the age of information, moving into the age of intuition, and into the age of consciousness. And it is happening. It is happening. with your true nature.